Hello. Hello. My name is Cameron. I'm one of the junior doctors in the ophthalmology department. What would you like me to call you, ma'am? Sadaf. Sadaf. Sadaf, I understand that you're here for the purposes of examination of your eyes. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to perform an examination uh, that because we came to know that you were having some double vision, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Okay. So during the process of this examination, I'll be coming close to you, doing a few tests and touching you as well. All right. Uh, if you feel any discomfort or pain at any time, please let me know and I'll stop right there. Thank okay. Thank you very much. So for starting off, can you please start looking at a point right behind me? Okay, thank you very much. I cannot see any discharge, redness, swelling, scar marks, sinuses, any excessive lacrimation. I do not see any ptosis or any lid retraction. Thank you very much, Sadaf. I'll be going behind your back, all right? Can you please not move your head, but try to look towards the ceiling with your eyes? Thank you very much. There's no exophthalmos. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shine some light in your eyes, do a couple of tests, all right? Ideally, I would like to dim the lights of this room. This is an ophthalmoscope, all right? Just bear with me. Can you please look at a point right behind me again? All right, thank you. The red reflex is positive in the left eye of my patient. The red reflex is also positive in the right eye of my patient. Thank you very much for that. I'll be shining some bright light in your eyes now. All right, please bear with me, it won't take long. Can you please place your hand like this between your face? Thank you. Thank you very much. Light reflex and consensual light reflex is positive in both eyes of my patient. Thank you very much. Can you please look at my finger now? Look at the wall behind me. Look at my finger. Look at the wall behind me. Thank you very much. The accommodation reflex is normal in my patient. Thank you very much. All right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use my finger and move it in front of you. Please let me know if you see double. Before going ahead with this, I would ideally like to use an Ishiara chart for color vision and Snellen's chart for visual acuity. For visual acuity, because we do not have a Snellen's chart, I can ask my patient generally uh, by a finger counting method. Uh, the finger counting method is, can you please cover your right eye with your right hand? Can you please tell me how many fingers do you see? Two. Can you, how many fingers do you see now? Three. Thank you very much. Can you please cover your other eye with your other hand? Can you please tell me how many fingers do you see? Four. Can you please tell me how many fingers do you see? Two. Okay, thank you very much. So that is basically a finger counting method to check for visual acuity. So visual acuity is normal in my patient. All right, so coming back to the following my finger part. So can you please follow my finger? Do not move your head. Keep on uh, looking at the finger with your eyes, all right, and tell me where you see double. Okay. Okay. So, start looking at my finger, and tell me if you see double anywhere. Double there. Oh, you see double there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Double there. Okay. Any double over here? No. Alright. Double. double there. Okay, perfect. So do you see the image above and below or side to side? Side to side. Okay. And do you see it as an outer image and an inner image? Yes. Okay. Can you please cover your right eye with your right hand? Do you still see double? Do you see the outer image or the inner image? Uh, the outer one. Okay, thank you very much. Can you cover your other eye for me? Okay. okay. Do you still see double? Uh, no. 
Okay, do you see the inner image or the outer image? The inner one. Okay, thank you very much for your time. All right, so can you please look at a point straight ahead of me? All right. The cover and cover test shows that there's no lateral squint in my patient and basically when I did the diplopia test the left eye was affected because my patient was seeing the outer image from the left eye so the left eye is affected the left lateral rectus muscle is affected and the abducent nerve is affected in my patient thank you very much for your time you. I hope you enjoyed and learned from this video Thank you.